Hi, welcome back to Web Nation. I'm Maurice Cacho in for Amber MacArthur this week. Have you ever missed a class or two in university? I'm sure many people have. And maybe you ended up getting stumped on the exam because a question that was on that exam was in the lecture that you may have slept in for. Well, guess what? My next guest has a solution for you. It's called Note Solutions. And joining me now is the company's COO, Kevin Wu. Welcome to the show. Thanks again for having me here. So tell me about uh, what, what your website does. It's basically, I guess, a place where students can share notes, they can give notes, and they can also get notes. Exactly. So Note Solution is a peer-to-peer -peer note sharing network for mm -hmm. university students. Uh, we started in September of last year mm -hmm. and right now we're at four universities, U of T, Ryerson, York and Simon Fraser University. Um, and for right now uh, we have just under 10,000 users mm -hmm. and starting September of this year we're actually branching out to 18 more schools. And so how can students use it? So essentially uh, for students they come onto the site um, there are so the site runs on a credit system. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of ways where you can get credits. So you can actually refer your friends, upload your own documents, and starting this this September, you can actually pay uh, to get these credits. So, so we're taking a look at your computer right now. Let's walk me through the process. Say I uh, missed two English classes or some sort of class and I need to get those notes. How can I do that? Right, so uh, this is the home page when you log in. Mm -hmm. And uh, after you log in, this is the uh, dashboard so mm -hmm. you can see that on the right there's the most recent uploads and uh, just if you look over here there's a note finder so it's a drop-down menu where you can actually find your courses mm -hmm. so after you've searched for your courses this is the search results menu okay um, and then from here you can click on anything that you wish to download and after you download it it shows up in your account and uh, your account contains all of your courses. So say if I went to all of my history courses but I didn't go to a couple of uh, economics courses, I guess I could upload my notes from those history courses, get some credits, and then use those credits to get the notes for those economics courses that I may have missed. Exactly, so you can actually upload notes for courses that you're good at taking notes in, mm -hmm. and with those credits, you can download uh, notes from courses that you need help or additional study guides in. Now here, here's a uh, you know example. My name's John. I never went to any courses. Wasn't history. Didn't go to history courses. Didn't go to my <laughs> economics courses. Can yeah. this site save me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, we actually have a quite uh, a large number of following on our Facebook page. So a lot of students have told us that they love the, w the website. They love the idea. And uh, right now, again, as I mentioned, uh, we have just under 10,000 users, and they all love it. And so, but if, if, say, you didn't go to those courses and you want to get these notes, but you don't have any notes to offer, how can that work? Can I pay, you know, can I give, you, can I give uh, some money to the site to get those notes? Yeah, so throughout these last couple of months, we've been offering the site for free. So we've actually getting, been getting feedback from a lot of people mm -hmm. asking if they can actually pay for this. So starting this September, we're opening up a paid credits feature for these users. Neat. Now, what if I was a, an exemplary student? Of course I am. And I got 50 <laughs> million notes and I say, you know what? I could make some, uh, some more money for the pub. How can I do that with the site? Yeah, so another component of our site is that we actually reward good and hardworking students uh, by letting them upload their notes and whenever other people download their notes they get credits for it and ex eventually they'll be able to exchange it for gift cards and also money. Neat. Now uh, about a, a few years ago actually there was a student at Ryerson University that was sharing notes on Facebook. He ended up getting in a lot of trouble. Have you guys had any sort of legal challenges or legal you know uh, uh, academic uh, issues arise with the site? No so since we started in September we haven't had any legal issues that you're speaking of mm -hmm. and one reason for that is we actually don't allow any copyright materials to be uploaded onto the website. So as of right now it's only student created content um, and we actually invite faculty and professors to create an account and also help monitor the site as well. Neat. Now uh, you guys are in 10 schools right now. Tell me about some of the other schools that you're uh, bringing on board and how do you get them on board? So as of right now uh, we are actually in 10 schools so uh, we're expanding out to additionally uh, 12 more schools so mm -hmm. um, the main way that we get people on board is we go through the various local student organizations and also different uh, faculty and administration. So for them, this is the best way um, to get into those schools because um, to the students, it's a service that's presented to them by these student unions. And so you guys have 9,000 members right now. How many will you, uh, do you estimate you'll get to with those 23 new schools? So by your end, uh, and this is a pretty conservative estimate, right. uh, we're reaching 50 thousand more users. Wow. Yeah. So a big, big repository of no notes. 
Yeah. Now, say if I was a student at uh, Ryerson University, could I get notes from students at UFT? Is, there inter is that interchangeability there? Uh, that's sort of our plan towards the future. As of right now, we haven't seen a lot of demand for that. Mm -hmm. So in terms of notes, we've kept it um, specifically for each school. Um, Locked down to yeah, each school. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, neat. So, I'm a student, I'm going to school in September. What's the website that uh, I might want to check out? Again, uh, check out Note Solution. This is the best source of course notes uh, for any of your university courses. All right, thanks, Kevin, so much for coming on the show. No problem. Thank you for having me here. No problem. All right, time for our final break.